Hey y'all, it's me, Tia, the unorthodox counselor. Um, I just finished up, so I got me a minute. Okay, I'm trying to do this. It's my first time, but it's cool. It's something different, and I'm okay with that. I like a challenge. Um, so today I want to talk about resiliency. All right, I want to talk about what that looks like, okay, and how to have resiliency. All right. Um, a lot of us are resilient, okay? We just don't never think about it because having resiliency, that's not something, you know, that, you know, uh, a trait that people either have or don't have, you know. Um, it involves behaviors and thoughts and actions that people develop to be resilient, okay? So we're talking about resiliency resiliency being able to withstand or recover from difficult things okay so resiliency check it this is my favorite you gotta have a level of ambition okay you gotta have a strong desire okay a strong determination to achieve something, to be successful at something, right? So, when we're talking about life traumas, okay, we're talking about you, me, us, need to think about us, where we've been, what are we currently going through, and where do we want to be, right? So, if we want to recover, we need to have a level of ambition, right? Okay, good. Now, we're talking about that determination, right? To be successful. Um, why? I just, I don't understand. Why is this phone ringing right now? Okay, but anyway, we're going to continue to go forward. So, um, when you have ambition right ambition plus love right that love is that deep affection or feeling for something right that then plus support right support okay hey rich hey cal hey dr johnson hey day hey dr baker Thank you for everything. You guys have really been here for me. Love, love. Thank you for everything. Because if it wasn't for y'all to let me be crazy and vent and, and, and talk about everything and you guys giving me positive encouragement and even challenging some of my negative thoughts, I don't think I would be where I am today. So, thank you. Now, moving forward. Okay, so ambition plus love right so that ambition to recover that motivation that determination plus love that you have for yourself and what are you trying to achieve okay now plus support the people who support you and don't let you hit the floor who will challenge your rational thinking who will give you positive encouragement okay you need that because ambition plus love plus support equals resiliency because you will not hit the floor your support will not let you hit the floor your love for yourself will not let you hit the floor your ambition for being successful to recover from whatever it is is not going to let you hit the floor okay now that's critical that is critical to being resilient because let me tell you life as y'all know and i know be throwing us all kinds of curveballs Okay, but guess what? Okay, keep hitting me with it. You're not knocking me down, all right? You have to determine if you want to bounce back like that slinky and just if you get low, you come back up. If you get low, you come back up. Or you just want to lay there and just be like, whatever. You got to determine what you want to do. 
You got to have a level of respect for yourself and a level of love for you to make sure that you continue to strive for greatness, period, right? So when you talk about being resilient, you got to take a look at the people that's at your table, right? Because you need to have good support. So if we're talking about, okay, being resilient and what support look like, so who's at your table? You need to have like-minded people at your table. Because listen, you can't have stray cats and dogs at the table when you're trying to be resilient. Because the stray cats and dogs only come around here and there when they need some. So your ambition, your love, and your, your support for you to be resilient through whatever it is that you're going through, that needs to be your plate of food. So you need to get in the mindset. Anybody that tries to take food off my plate, which is your, your morals, your values, your goals, automatically becomes an enemy. So that means... You keep your eye right there. You focus on that. That's it. You're not in a position to be feeding stray cats and dogs. Because if you do that, you're not going to have enough nourishment for you to be strong mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Because in order to be resilient, you still got to have that level of mental toughness. And that's important. So, think about the people and your circle. Are they conducive to my process? Are these people adding value to my life? Are these people withdrawing so much from my ATM, but nobody's making deposits on me? Think about those things. Because you're important. But you got to know you're important. Period. I need you whoever you are, to stay focused and know that you are loved, you are cared for. You're not the only one out here. None of our situations is unique. We all in this struggle together, and we need to come together and help build each other up so we could be resilient through life's struggles. And I will touch back on a part two on resilience. So thank you for listening, guys. Subscribe, send me an email. Any of y'all that know me, send me a text message. Whatever you need, let me know. I'm open for discussions, topics, everything. I'm here. So peace and blessings. Be safe. Enjoy. Have a great week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.